Okay, here is the arcade tour. Uh, let's go December 2021. And we have a plethora of arcades, starting with uh, Burger Time. Sorry, this uh, marquee looks washed up, but it really isn't. Um, this is Turtles in Time, or Turtles. Sorry, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But heavily modded. You see that we added a third button. Right? And uh, we're able to play. So this has a launch box build on there. And we have all of the main, every single main three and four player uh, game. Right? So you'll see everything that had three and four players went out and got it. So we can play anything from Simpsons, Turtles, uh, X Men. Uh, just anything you think of is on here. So this is our three, four player multicade, right? Not gonna change it. Maybe do something with the uh, kick plate there. Uh, we did add the aftermarket light up marquee. Um, so that this one is running a, uh, some cheap motherboard with a uh, uh, i5, 4700 and a GTX 750. Uh, I think the only game that really actually needed that GTX 750 was the uh, Streets of Rage. So we do have Streets of Rage 4, which is a Windows game. And yeah, so this is running it. This right here, our power switch. Uh, yeah. Um, moving on. We have this computer. This computer is the Golf Cade slash Guitar Hero Cade. And it hooks up to that USB soundbar. And that is the projector. And this is where it projects. So we get a nice big area for Guitar Hero, uh, which is nice. Uh, we also can play this thing right here. And we'll talk about this a little later. This is the, uh, my wife calls it the Portal Party, right? So it's a um, completely self-contained, uh, has a wireless USB transmitter, transmits a uh, wireless ACMI transmitter, sorry. Um, and we have a ACMI receiver, wireless ACMI receiver. We used to have it connected up here, but we have it in the living room. Um, and we use that to play uh, Either this, any uh, any mounted light gun game, um, be it Mame or uh, Techno Parrot. And uh, the second part, we haven't really finished this build because we still need the uh, the graphics. This is a, uh, you look at the layout, looks like an incredible technologies layout and it's Silver Strike Bowling on here. So we can talk about that. So we do have the Silver Strike Bowling, um, uh, the Nighthawk stripped out, placed into this uh, cavity here. Um, and we have on the other side a, it's a uh, i5-6500 with a GTX 1650 uh, running uh, uh, main Techno Parrot, uh, Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3 um, shooters, right? Dedicated. This thing is on wheels, wheel it wherever you want. Uh, as you can see, the power here is going feeding back in, or you could use a uh, different, plug it into the wall. But it's powered by that thing. That's just a small solar um, uh, power. You get about uh, four or five hours on it, All right? Perfect, All right? Pull the party out, play the party, put it back. Great. Next, we have our heavily modded um, Arcade 1-Up Star Wars. Um, Obviously, it's not Star Wars. It has all the Pinball FX3 tables. This is the Pinball X threat end, right? And uh, I think I did a video on this on, on the channel uh, of how this, how we, uh, what the guts are. So we have all the, uh, the DOF um, uh, contactors. Uh, we don't have the surround sound on this one, so this is. This is a, a base mod, just, you know, give you a little good feel. Uh, 
We did upgrade the monitor. The monitor in here is a 27 inch um, Acer, and this is a 22 inch Acer for the back glass. All right. Um, uh, our next one is the Star Wars, our Power Star Wars. So this, uh, we did the Kongs RS uh, build, right? Put the two event buttons. So look at that. We have the Daytona <laughs> colors over here, Daytona USA. And down here, we went a little step for further. We put a, uh, a pedal set. So this is the uh, is it a Logitech, Ferrari, whatever. But it's just, uh, we inverted the pedals, mounted them in there in that uh, riser. Um, and we can play any kind of racer, um, uh, any kind of Star Wars, any kind of flying thing that needs a yoke. This is our, our, our go-to cabinet, running i5-6500 GTX 1080, no not 1080, uh, 1050 Ti, all right? Over here I skipped over, this is our um, sim racer, but it runs all, it runs everything that one runs, all the games that one runs, but it has a dedicated wheel with a uh, USB uh, uh, handbrake, shifter, Japanese style on the left, right? We got clutch pedal. So this is our uh, dedicated sim racer. The plan for this one, once we get more room, is to uh, put the motion, put it on a motion um, sim and get full motion going. So this is not in its final configuration, but for now, it's pretty good. We have underneath here, uh, you see there's a butt kicker mounted there with the uh, knob sound amp. So it, it, it really, really uh, good feedback there. Alright, and that is a i7 4700 and that's a GTX 1650 in there. Um, going along, we have, man, these bar keys are washed out. We have a uh, Atari uh, Legacy, right? No mods done to it. Well, I lied. Look at that, I just lied to you. <laughs> One mod done to it, as you can see. We put Glenn's Retro Show to GRS trackball in there. Um, that's about it. The plan is to uh, uh, probably convert this to either put a Atomic Pie or a, a Raspberry Pi in there and uh, flip this screen so it's vertical and uh, go from there. All right, so we have the spinner, the trackball, the buttons, right? But it'll run. Um, run the main versions and those will be better you know the, they'll have the correct aspect ratio right the, well the correct uh, orientation vertical screen right so it's kind of bad that they put the the marquee name marquee game which is a vertical uh, game and they put it into a horizontal monitor uh, right here we have the hsn miss pac-man uh, this one's actually on offer up right now. I'm trying to get the uh, Pac-Man uh, class of 1981 with the Gallagher, but uh, this I uh, replaced the kick, uh, put the, this new graphic on there. Um, it is uh, the four games. Only really play one, <laughs> and that's this Pac-Man. Here's Mortal Kombat 2 uh, Legacy. We did a little bit of a mod here, as you can see. Um, uh, what we really did was we put an atomic pie in here, right? This is our first four range of atomic pie, and we can talk about that, right? I'll, I'll dig into my mods um, in depth, right? So the, the atomic pie uh, running uh, a track mode, x86 uh, emulation station in the track mode. Uh, and we have Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and as you can see here, WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. So anything that uses this kind of configuration, the, these buttons, we have those games. And what we have, uh, I have a script that when you start it up, it starts uh, one game until, and then you can exit the game as well. Kind of hard for me to do it one hand you can exit the game and go to a track mode and select another game normally but it'll just come up into one game here we have big blue 
no mods as is so don't plan on doing any mods if i do any mods it'll just be changing the buttons in the stick um, but right now no mods as is vanilla right this is the shooting cabinet it's a, a 22 inch um from gaming solutions jurassic park uh, graphics and it runs all light gun games and we have two Sindin light guns, uh, both with recoil. Great. Um, I have a HMI cable running all the way to it, all the way back up into a MUX, into that thing. And I can actually play those light gun games here, even better. So we'll get around to it. I'll show you how that works. Works great. All right. so now you have this whole big projector screen um, lots of room to, uh, to, to run, uh, to, to, to move around and you're not limited to that, that screen there. So that is, that is my solution for, for getting that good old arcade feel. Next, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, no mods. Don't plan on doing any mods. I love it. Uh, love it. <laughs> Next we have Golden T. You know we have to mod this one. All right, Golden Tea Classic is awful. <laughs> so we put on Golden Tea for complete. Um, this is actually the only arcade that is an actual arcade board. So we have the Golden Tea uh, 2005 complete um, red arcade board in there. Um, running the actual arcade hardware in here and this is a um, <clears throat> 19 inch arcade monitor lcd monitor um, and then we have from 99 lives arcade their uh, tee off with somebody off <laughs> right uh, the, this extended panel right so you know before if you look at the arcade one up you know your hands are, your hands are right up there so now you know, you have a little bit more room. Got a, lot, a little bit more room to do what you need to do, right? Great, great. Put a little uh, graphic on the kick plate. But yeah, we, we can look at this. We, we put a, a new Boss Audio uh, 50 watt speaker in here. Um, and yeah, and I think on the side, on one of these sides, I think it's this side, you won't be able to see that, is the, uh, the test button. I have to get into the test venue. Over here, crunched into the corner, you know, we're lacking room, <laughs> is NBA Jam. No mods as is. So any of the arcade one-ups that have the Wi-Fi that I actually like, I won't make any uh, modifications. So Street Fighter is gonna stay stock. Marvel's gonna stay stock. NBA Jam obviously is gonna stay stock. All right, so right now, if we count them out, we modded Golden T. Um, we modded Star Wars. We modded the Star Wars pinball. And we modded Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And you're asking, why didn't we mod this one? Well, this is my wife's favorite game. <laughs> Burger Time, she plays that. She has this, the highest score over us, between the two of us. And you see Mo, 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 Mo. Still can't be Kendo. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, she loves that cabin, so we don't mod it. All right. And that is the arcade tour. Half of it. So one second, me one second, and we're gonna go to the second half. Well, not really half quarter, right? And we're gonna go take a look at the the spillover. All right. Many of you have probably seen this room. All right, what we have, this is our spillover. We have the MBSX, right? The MBSX stock. Jury's out on whether I want to mod this or not. Jury's out. I like that this is a uh, dedicated Neo Geo. All right, I like, I just like the Neo Geo. Um, we do have, well, I guess I will mod it. We do have the riser coming. As you can see, it's a little baby. Right, it needs to grow up a little bit. And then we have the IRK. This was the uh, Black Friday sale. <laughs> right? hey, it, it, it was great. So 
So we have the iron arcade. I mean, this thing is premium. This thing is, whew. The, the controls feel great. The buttons are excellent. I mean, man, they really did a good job. Their game selection, eh. <laughs> you know, leaves a little bit to be desired, but uh, yeah. And then uh, I didn't see any option for scan lines or anything like that. So that, that, that kind of uh, sucks. So hopefully they add that, but uh, so far so good. I like it. And then we have the last here. You've seen this. Here's our Legends Pinball. All right, and then we take Legends Pinball up to the next level. We, we super size our Legends Pinball and we get the uh, um, Windows um, popper, pinup popper. And we have, uh, I'm gonna say, 400 and some tables, so we have Future Pinball, Pinball FX3, Visual Pinball X, R10, VP10, and um, we have Black Flag. I, I do have Zakaria Pinball, but I haven't set it up, and Pinball Arcade, that's starting to be a pain to set up, so I'm gonna maybe abandon that. Um, I don't know. Uh, the last thing we've done actually, no one's haven't showed you. So we added uh, exhaust fans on the side. And go back around the back. So he's the AC Infinity, and this is its corresponding. Um, thermostat, right? So it controls those fans, the speed of those fans. So right now the fans aren't on. The temperature is uh, well below the set temperature. Right? But as soon as the uh, temperature starts rising, the fans come on, so regulates. Also added, that yeah, looks like a fan, but it's not a fan, it's just a fan grill. Right? <laughs> just cut it out, bend in the, uh, the top here, and yeah. That is it. No, um, let's see what we're doing. We'll look at the future pinballs. So we have all the future, all we have, all the slam tilt future pinball tables. One of the great ones is uh, the Halloween. Oh, this, this one is awesome. I think we have Masses of the Universe, right? Masses of the Universe. Well, Jaws is awesome too. And the Masters of the Universe. Great table. And what I just found was the uh, the VPX version of that. Yeah. yeah. So we have 233 visual pinball tables. How many future pinball? 40 future pinball tables. Uh, 97 pinball FX3. Um, we didn't set up name yet. So, all right, that's the tour. Can't let that rock. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the tour. Um, leave in the comments which one you want to talk about next, which uh, mod. And we can we can uh, go in depth into the mod.